Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you a really good dupe for the row medium size uh, north south park tote. So that's a really mouthful name for a bag. Um, but it's their long style tote with a single strap and the medium size. Um, this bag I think retails for $15.90 if I'm not mistaken. So it's a hefty price to pay for a bag of course. Um, and I have put down a deposit on a pre-order for a dark olive color. So that hasn't arrived here yet. Um, that will be coming I think in the next two months or so. So once I get that, I'll do a comparison with the bag that I'm about to share today. But I saw this bag on the J. Crew website. Um, recently, Liz had, Lizzie had filled. Uh, she's a British blogger. And she recently did a collaboration with J. Crew, and this was one of the items that she featured. And as soon as I saw it, I really wanted to get it. Um, but long story short, this bag is so popular, it keeps selling out on the J. Crew website, I think for a really good reason. So let me share it with you, and you will see immediately what I mean by uh, it's a really good dupe for the row uh, medium bark tote. So here's the bag I'm sharing with you today. It's the J. Crew bucket style tote. Um, I will insert the exact name for it on the screen here. It's really interesting because it's using two different kinds of materials. So the part I'm showing you is the brown suede and then off of the side it's brown uh, smooth leather. So it has two different materials, it has the same kind of uh, shape as uh, the row medium north south park tote. It of course features the single strap it also has the same feature as like the tie uh, you can use in the middle to tie your bag to kind of secure your uh, belongings. And when you tie it up, the bag looks like this and you can see that it closes in the middle really well so your belongings are a lot more secure and less likely to fall out if you're like me and has problems with your belongings falling out of your bag when you drive. And this bag only retails for $199. It did say the promotions would not apply though, and I think that's because this bag has been so popular. I did have some rewards um, on my account with them, and I also had a gift balance I could use, so I ended up paying about $150 for the bag. And inside, it's very plain. This is the same with the row uh, part tote as well. It's just kind of like an open space, and you can see I have a whole lot of stuff in here, um, all organized and packed pouches but nothing comes in the bag so it's a very very plain style and I have been looking for um, this color to be added in my wardrobe I was thinking maybe I will add like a leather coat or a bag or a pair of shoes in the chocolate brown I think this is a very popular color for this season so I'm really glad J. Crew brought uh, out this brought out this bag in this specific color they also have the navy one I've seen it before um, which also sells out really quickly and they also have another one that's a uh, calf hair which has like the uh, I think zebra print on it and then the opposite side is black um, that's not really my cup of tea but if you do like that kind of a uh, print going on in your bags then that's an option for you and the price is only $30 more than compared to the leather version Okay, so I was able to actually pull the listing up on their website. They do currently have the navy one in stock. Um, and that one seems like it's blue suede, so navy suede on one side and black leather on the other side. So keep that in mind if you're going to order it. So in terms of the size comparison, this bag indeed is very similar to the medium uh, north-south park tote in dimensions because the height of the medium tote is 11 inches by the row. This one is a little bit taller at 12 and a half uh, inches. And in terms of width, the top is a lot wider than the bottom. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell, but if you stretch it out, you can see it's a little bit wider. So up top here, it's 13 and a quarter inches. And in the bottom, it's only nine 
inches uh, wide. So it is a little bit taller on the top and it gets narrower in the bottom, but hasn't really limited me from using this bag as my daily um, daily bag to carry all my daily essentials. As you saw, I'll share with you what all fits in here in a second. But for the row, um, it actually has a kind of um, straight cut compared to this bag so it doesn't get narrower like this one so that one is 13 in width um same with top and bottom so this one is a little bit taller but you have you have um the silhouette kind of slowing down towards the bottom while as the row bag it's straight cut so it's just 13 across and 11 high so this bag is a little bit taller than the row and i don't think the medium tote by the row would be too short either because as you can see the tallest item that I'm carrying which is a pouch still sits way below the top here so I have plenty of room so even if the row tote were to get here I don't think I'll find it too short. So let me now share with you what all fits in this bag. Um, I'm actually surprised by how much this can fit because when I got it, I just thought, wow, this tote is really tall, but it doesn't really look like it can carry anything. And I was really, really wrong. Um, the only thing is that though, especially because this is in a dark color, if you don't use pouches like I do, it's going to be really hard for you to find items. It's great if you don't have any problems like that, but I have so much baby stuff I like to carry with me nowadays. And like on top of that, I have a lot of my daily essentials I gotta carry also. So if I don't organize it in pouches, it becomes a disaster. So that's why I have it all organized in little pouches. So I'll share with you what all fits in here. Let me just empty it out first and then I'll try to refill the bag. All right, I emptied it out by literally just dumping all the contents in the bottom. So. You can see there's nothing in here. I clearly still have the price tag on the side, so I gotta cut that off. I didn't even notice until until now. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna fit in here is the biggest pouch I have, which I even have it labeled. It's the feeding pouch, so it has, um, I believe, spoons, some teething crackers, a burp cloth, a bib, and a um, little container for food. The only thing missing is actual food, but this will be perfect um, for doing feeding at a restaurant with our son. And then the next size pouches, I have four spare diapers because you never know when you're gonna need them. We usually have diapers laying around in our car in like a diaper bag or some other form, but you never know when you're gonna need them. Um, so I would like to carry a few in my purse. Next one I have is a pouch full of a mask, tissues, and wet ones. So this is really for me, not for our son, but always good to have um, some things that I can wipe mess with. And then the next item here I have is a pack of wipes. This is refillable pouch. So it's a zip top. It's is also from Amazon. It's awesome because I can just cut up a big pack of wipes and carry kind of a more compact pack of wipes in my purse. Always, always good to have also. And then next up, I have additional pouch for our son. This is um, little plastic bags you can carry the dirty diapers in. So you never know when you're gonna need them. Always nice to have. And then the same size pouch I have here is my essential. So I have hand sanitizer, lip balm or lip gloss. I have um, body lotion, hand lotion, a little pen. I also have reusable boba straw because that's a must in our household. And then some of my additional personal belonging items, which are my sunglasses by Key Australia. This is the only pair of sunglasses that I have, so it's always the same one. Six spring key holder by Louis Vuitton. My husband took my key, so it's basically empty right now. And then I'm using the key pouch as my wallet, so that's what goes in here. And at this point, you would think, wow, your bag is full, you must be all done. I'm not done, I still have more stuff I gotta fit. So I have my AirPods, which is a must if I'm picking up our son earlier than usual. And I have some work calls I gotta dial into, can't forget it. My phone that I was sitting on. And then extra passy, cannot go without extra passy. And of course a baby toy. This is like a flip phone that our son really loves playing with. 
I need to wipe this down. This, that's why it's in my purse. And that's really all I carry as a day-to-day -day, um, essentials, if you will, as a, as a mom to a one-year-old now. And that all fits in here really nicely. Um, and I could even put probably more stuff. So if I were to carry like some baby food or like a little silicone plate for our son, that would all fit in here. Maybe I can't quite close it with the ties up, up top, but this honestly fits as much as my Louis Vuitton Neverfull, which is amazing. So for the price point of $200, um, it's still luxurious, I would say. It gives you kind of that elevated look without breaking the bank. So I'm really, really happy with this bag. And honestly, once I get the row um, medium north side, north south part tote, I'm not sure if I'll keep that one because I that's a lot more expensive than how expensive this was. And I'm not sure if I need another one of these unless I love the color. So I'm gonna wait and see how much I love that one um, before I send it back. But right now, this has been amazing and course the feel of the bag feels really premium um i love the color it goes really well with any of the outfits um that i really wear during the day every day can be dressed up or dressed down which is how i prefer it so now that i've shared with you what all fits in this bag which by the way is a lot um, let me just share with you how it looks when i wear it on my shoulder because i think that always helps Okay, so the angle is probably a little bit awkward, but um, I'm just standing up. For reference, I am 5'7". I weigh about 160 or so. Usually wear a size small and the bottoms are 28 in jean size. So this is how the bag looks on me on shoulder. It feels really, really comfortable. And what I really appreciate about the bag is that when you carry it on your shoulder, a lot of times the bags can just kind of like slide off but this has really good grip on my shoulder and it feels really comfortable for me to just sling it on one shoulder and keep, be able to keep the bag um, kind of like behind my waist with one elbow which is very important because a lot of times i'm carrying my bag my son with one one hand and i'm also carrying other things in my hands so being hands-free is very very important while this is not exactly crossbody hands-free comfortable this is as comfortable as a shoulder bag could be for me and that really checks all the boxes so that's what it looks like even if you weren't slinging it like kind of behind your body like this i think it still fits really comfortable on your shoulder if you prefer to carry your shoulder bag like like this so i think this is a really really comfortable um so this is the suede side wearing out which is how I prefer this bag to wear but if you were to carry it with the leather side out this is what it looks like I think it looks a little bit uh, more cool than warm so I prefer to wear the suede on the outside um, for the autumn winter season another thing to note though is that um, the tie of course becomes undone and if you've noticed the tie has come undone while i've been showing you guys how it looks like on me with the mod shots but if i don't tie it it kind of tends to stay open like this so the look is a little bit different so i prefer to have the bag tied but the problem is if you do have the bag tied it's gonna be really really hard for you to retrieve your items so as you see if you're wearing it and you have it tied it's gonna be really hard for you to find anything in here so if you frequently want to carry the bag tied I would say just like the key pouch I have from Louis Vuitton maybe you want to hook it onto your shoulder strap so you can retrieve like your keys or your wallet a lot faster so that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick share and reveal of my newest bag and my collection. While this is not like a normal brand I will purchase handbags from, I'm really happy with this one. Um, I think it fits so well into my current lifestyle and um, style of clothing I would like to wear. Not that I don't really need to carry a laptop with me every day, this fits me perfectly. 
So hope you guys found this helpful. And if you're also interested, hopefully J. Crew will keep on bringing this bag back. Um, I did see that they had the Maybe one in stock and the calf hair one also in stock. So I'll link that down below for you guys to shop with. Um, but if you're interested in the brown one, maybe they will bring it back and you can just keep an eye out on that uh, listing I will link below. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any additional questions about this bag, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below and I'll see you in my next one.